Hey everybody, it's David Johnson with Team Real Estate. Today's helpful hint for your house is to how do we address flooding basements. Uh, flooding basements, when I refer to it, um, you know, it, it typically it's going to be water coming from the outside. If it's flooding, I don't mean like when it's filling up the water, that's a broken pipe on the inside of the house where it will flood, it will fill up. But this is just water seeping in from a major rain event. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, I am a civil engineer, so, and over the years, even when, and I don't want to say, I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying that to kind of give you some background of where I'm at, to my understanding of soils, structures, um, those kind of things, uh, is uh, over the years I've been hired out, even when I was in construction, not in real estate, um, I had people hire me out, the high-end homes, say, hey, my basement keeps leaking, hey, my basement keeps leaking. Leaking. So I would go out there at consulting fee and just tell them, you know, what's going on and how to fix it. 99.9999% um, of the time, they have reverse grade. Um, so uh, reverse grade is just having water come sit up next to your house, um, you know, and, and find infiltration spots. A lot of people who don't know um, will say, well, my, my foundation's cracked. I will guarantee you 100% unequivocally, hands down, if you have a concrete basement, it's cracked already. Concrete will crack, always cracks, never stops. So um, it's not that it's bad product, that's just what concrete does. If you've ever been walking down the sidewalk and you see those little grooves, that's because we're grooving the concrete and telling it we want you to break right here. If you look down in those cracks, you'll see you'll, when it's grooved, you'll see a crack from you know where the concrete relieved the stress and strain. When you're driving down the road on the highway, every, I think it's 12 feet, you'll see a relief cut. You know, they're trying to let that piece of concrete um, swell and shrink without cracking in itself. So you try to control the cracking, but when you pour a basement, we don't put grooves in the wall. They just pour them straight and flat, so they're gonna crack. They always do, there's no way around that. So the main point is get the water away from your house. So when we talk about reverse grade, um, we've got our house um, right here. And let's say we've got a basement on the house, right? <sighs> reverse grade is no more than um, your, your, the dirt next to your house does this, okay? When the water comes, you get rain event and it comes down this way, is sitting up against the house, right? It's sitting right there. Huh, arrow. It's sitting right against the house, and then it's just coming, it's literally running down the wall and finding a way into the house. This grade needs to be fixed, you know, to look like this. That's, the sim that's as simple as it gets. I mean, I promise you, 100%, that's what's gonna happen. Now, there's a couple different things that we can look at. Um, not only can it be reverse grade, um, it can be a combination of things. Um, if uh, a telltale sign is, if you have those little, you know where your gutters are, if you have gutters in your house, which you should, if you have those, that little drip line, right down where your gutter is at. And if you look up at your gutter, you'll see little brown streaks coming over your gutter. <clears throat> that tells me your gutters are clogged, water's coming over, and water's dripping right next to your house. And so their gutters aren't doing what they're supposed to do. So a lot of times you'll have, not only will you have this, you'll have this reverse grade issue, but then you'll have a gutter bringing water down and kicking it out, you know, right here beside the house, or it's just all running out of the gutter and it's doing the same thing. Your gutters are designed to get the water away from the house. So if you don't have enough money to fix the grade, all it's gonna do is cut, it's a gutter down, so that's a downspout extension. Um, this is a little pipe, little plastic accordion pipe that you put on the end of your uh, uh, gutters. And it just gets, it, it gets that water up over that hump to get away. Um, the one we did today, or this weekend, with the big rain event, he had, um, his house happened to be um, like this, and there was a big hill. The whole front yard was a hill. And he's like, what's going on? And the house was leaking right here, right here in the front. And he's like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And I mean, it was obvious. We had a major torrential rain. All this water from this hill up here came rushing down, overloaded his gutters, and ran down the wall and got into his house. So we have to prepare for that. We have to just get, just keep the water away. 
So the, the easiest way to do that, if you can't, if your gutters are in, you know, don't work enough or they're overloaded all the time, we can build what's called a small swale, a swale or a little ditch. And we're just gonna have a, a, a landscaper come in here and just build a little bit of a ditch right here, like that. Now this ditch is gonna take the water around the house. So if we're looking, if we're looking, if we're above the house, we're looking down, this is the house, right? Uh, uh, that's the roof line, right? That ditch is gonna take that water this way and take it around the house down the hill because the hill is coming this way, right? So it's gonna take it around the house and go down the hill. That way, not only can your gutters do their job, kick the water out, they'll kick the water, <clears throat> the water come down the gutter and it'll kick into here and then it's gonna run down and around the house. So I'm just telling you, 99% of the time, this water infiltration um, is very easy to fix. It's not about digging your whole basement out and, and sealing. Um, you're never going to fix it, sealing it from inside. Um, if you dig it from the outside and seal it, most likely that product's going to fail eventually, and you're going to. It's a huge expense. Fixing the grade, putting downspout extensions, super cheap. Um, having a landscaper come out do a little, uh, they, they've got what's called a preparator, and they'll just rough it up and just make it look nice and pretty where you can mow it. This is the way to go if you got a major problem with a hill. But uh, if you have any questions, give me a call, come out and help you out, um, and I'll just kind of show, show you what I see to help you fix the problem. I hope this helped you with uh, flooding basements. Have a great day. If you guys are interested in buying, selling, or investing, give us a call, 319-1000. We love you, have a great day.